What's the best test for an endurance athlete to do? That's our topic today. The test is finding your first lactate threshold. And I'm going to run through the key issues that pop up over and over again with testing so that you can get an accurate look at where your first threshold is. So recap on the test, 10 minute steps, and the step height is gonna be relatively small. I want you to start ridiculously easy. Doesn't matter what sport you're testing. We are gonna put the warm up inside the test. In other words, you want at least three looks inside your zone one. Four might be better. I usually use four myself. That's going to mean that the total test duration is going to be somewhere between 40 and 60 minutes. And it's all going to be in your green zone, zone one and zone two. If you want, you can kind of do that next step at the end that will take you into kind of low zone three. It's not essential. What we're trying to find with this test is that first point where lactate tip tips up. And in order to see that, we have to start easy. Common question, should I do the test fed or fasted? I recommend you do the test however you normally train at that time of the day. So just do your normal routine. By starting easy and having these multiple looks, at least a half hour, in zone one, your feeding status should wash out as you move through zone one. So if it is, if your lactate is a little elevated, it's gonna come down and then it's gonna bottom out before it ticks up. That point just before it ticks up is the top of your zone one. And that's an important point to know. We reference it quite a bit in all these videos and for targeting green zone training when we talk about zone one versus zone two. The other thing, uh, size of the lancet, the, what you're using to make the little puncture. You wanna size that up most likely. So 28 gauge is what I use. And if you are someone who presents with cold hands a lot of the time, get yourself a mug of hot water and cradle that mug for a little while to get those hands nice and warm before you start the test and start the test with full finger gloves on. Keep that hand nice and warm. It'll make it much easier for you to get a nice blood sample. So those are the key issues, all right? For some of y'all, it's probably gonna be the first time you've ever done a proper easy warm up. And so it's a great experience for you. It's nice and relaxed. There's no pressure. It's going to be easy to get the samples. And this test is something I do all the time and it's not stressful and it just gives me a look and it lets me see how my low end is developing or how much it's detrained if I'm coming off uh, an off season or a transition period or I've been sick or I've been injured. And it's a really valuable test for you to build into your routine. You can look at this every four to six weeks and definitely look at it every time you think your endurance training zones may have changed. All right. Then we're going to talk about once we, because this is going to let us have our zone one and our zone two kind of dialed. And then we're going to talk about how much we split between those next time for you how dark green we make our endurance training on that pyramid that we kicked off this series with. This video was part of the Lemon to Legend online course. To make sure you get all the future episodes, subscribe to my YouTube channel.